these days we keep hearing that you know the incidence of cervical cancer has gone up quite a lot especially in urban areas yeah. uh, so why is this happening cervical cancer is basically a viral infection it is produced due to a viral infection that is the human papilloma virus and now we do find it is true that we find that the rate of cervical cancer is going up and the age of onset is going uh, up that means in lesser age the age is going down that means in uh, people younger ages also we are getting the cancer so and uh, since it's a viral infection we advise people that once they start sexual intercourse they have to do an annual pap smear if three consecutive annual pap smears are normal then women below 35 years can do it once in 3 years and women above 35 years can do it once in 2 years and we do recommend the cervical cancer vaccine when is the cervical cancer vaccine given ideally it is to be given during adolescence before the first sexual encounter okay. there are three doses if there are two different vaccines one is given at 0 1 and 6 the other doses 0 2 and 6 months that means the first dose then after 2 months and after 6 months there are two three uh, two different varieties so what are the symptoms how how do women know that they might be having cervical cancer the unfortunate part of cancer is that it is detected very late once they have post coital bleeding or post menopausal bleeding or irregular bleeding of any kind then we examine and find out that there is something wrong then what does one do about it prevention is better than cure do annual pap smears so that we can detect it easily because there are certain changes which happen before it becomes a cancer we can treat it at that level and then we don't have to have that extensive treatments it can be prevented at that level itself so otherwise you do require extensive surgeries radiations so basically it's treated like the other cancers yeah. where radiotherapy and chemotherapy chemotherapy surgery okay. surgery is also there then women uh, their rate of uh, basically women cannot conceive after they are treated for cervical cancer uh, it is very difficult because then the, you lose the uterus if it is very early only the cervix is lost but then also you know the, the preg- it is very difficult for the pregnancy to progress without the cervix So doctor how does one contract cervical cancer Cervical cancer is contracted by sexual intercourse from the males it is a viral infection and people with multiple sexual partners or if if you have multiple sexual partners or if, you, or if your partner has multiple sexual partners then the chances of getting this viral infection is more So always use condoms if you have multiple sexual partners or if you suspect that your partner has many other partners Okay, and apart from that, uh, obviously the Pap smears, right? Pap smear is how you detect it early. Okay. So how does one do the Pap smear? Then what is the procedure? Pap smear is a very simple procedure. Any gynecologist will do for you. For that matter, any primary health nurse in the rural areas they can also do it for you. All you have to do is be in the dorsal position. A simple speculum is put in. The cervix is exposed, and a uh, smear is taken with a small spatula, and it is put onto the slide. The slide is fixed, and you get the results in no time. So this uh, test is used only for cervical cancer, right? You cannot yeah. detect any other STDs or HIV. No, HIV and all is detected through the blood. Okay. Found our information useful? If you found that the video has helped you, please like. Tell us what you think about our videos. Please leave a comment. To watch our other videos, click here. For more such information related to your health, log on to health.india.com.